Welcome once again to our Wednesday evening reflection, a time for us to break open the word together and prepare for Sunday Mass. So let's pause, take a breath, and put ourselves in God's presence. I invite you to take a moment as we listen to the gospel for this Sunday to think about what word or phrase captures your attention as you hear the gospel proclaimed. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. So I ask you, what word called out to you? For me, it was the word neighbor. What is there for us to say about this reading? Jesus says we are to love God with our whole hearts and to love one another, to love our neighbor as ourselves. That's pretty straightforward. There's really not a lot of wiggle room there. There are some people, perhaps some in your family, certainly people you've met, who want to take every word of the Bible literally. You know who they are, you know what I mean. But this never seems to be a theme that they insist we take literally, word for word. I wonder why. I guess if we're going to take Jesus at his word, then we would need to know what he means when he insists that we love God with all of our being and our neighbor as ourself. The first commandment seems clear. God comes first, always and everywhere. We fail to follow this commandment whenever something gets in the way of our relationship with God. When we are too tired to pray. When we are too busy to go to Mass. When we are too worried to trust that God is watching out for us. When we think that financial security is the goal at the cost of our spiritual well-being. Think about all the many ways we take God's love for granted, always believing that God will patiently wait for us to recognize, like our most loving parent, that God is waiting there for us to be the tiniest bit grateful for all the gifts showered upon us, or the help that is always right there for our asking. And how exactly are we supposed to love others as ourselves? We really need to pause a moment to reflect on the question, how would I hope to be loved? I know I wish others would be patient with me when I fail, would join me in my happiness and comfort me in my sadness. I want those who love me to walk beside me and share my life. And then the real clincher, who is our neighbor? We know the answer. Everyone is our neighbor. But in case you're not sure who everyone is, let me list some of them for you. Yes, it's the person living next to me in my apartment who may be too loud. But it's also the person at work whose politics are different from mine. Or the person who's in prison, whether justly or unjustly accused. It's all of those overworked folks at the hospitals, from the doctors and the lab technicians to the folks who are doing all the cleaning. My neighbor is the doorman. My, neighbor, my neighbors are the parents who are separated from their children at the border in El Paso or wherever our border is in the Southwest. Our neighbors are the folks in the Senate who can't agree and can't compromise. Our neighbor is the UPS driver 
And our neighbor is the homeless guy I see every morning at the subway station who looks a little bit scary to me, who makes me nervous. They're all our neighbors. And so Jesus is asking if we are willing to love and be kind to all of them. When I think of the way we treat each other in our society, when I think about how thoughtless I can be when I'm tired or crabby, love one another sounds so simple, and yet the older I get, it seems so incredibly difficult. But I'll tell you this, when I see someone who is consistently kind and thoughtful of others, and I have some friends like that, I know I want to be more like that. So rather than hear this gospel and say, yeah, 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 I challenge each of us today and for this week to make an effort this time to take Jesus literally at his word and to do the work that he calls for in this gospel, to love one another. How you do it is up to you, but do something. Amen. Do you like what you see? We are St. Francis de Sales, a welcoming, inclusive, and multi-ethnic Catholic parish that serves a diverse community strengthened by our commitment to Jesus. If you want to see more content like this for modern Catholics, please feel free to support our efforts by giving online. We also invite you to follow us on social media and to contribute to our work of ushering in the kingdom of God here on East 96th Street and beyond.